We have an energy question today. Can you tell us about the energy within a hurricane? The energy in a hurricane come from the ocean, off or the plate. Who would think but the really warm water in the ocean that caught the water to evaporate? And when these molecules leave the surface of the water, they take some heat energy with them and as that heat energy get up into the hurricane, those water vapor molecule condense and they release their heat into the atmosphere. And that's how the hurricane gets its power. That's warm and we see in the center of the storm, the ice that come from the ocean basically. Is there a name for that heat? That's called Latin heat called. Latin means it's kind of hidden, so you can put a thermometer in it and measure it directly. But it's in those molecules. They are like little mobile solar collector. And what happened to the energy after the hurricane? It's dissipating. So the top of the hurricane behind like a giant radiator in an engine. It's warmer than its solar because of all that heat and it just let it eat out to bed. Let's us look at real hurricanes and make some observations of our own. This activity from My NASA Data allows students to examine sea surface temperature to explore how hurricanes extract heat energy from the ocean surface. In this exercise, we have access to data and images that researchers and satellites have gathered on Hurricane Rita, a Category 5 hurricane that tore through the Gulf of Mexico in September 2005. If we want to look at energy on a large scale, this is a good place to start. Here, we're looking at the period during and right after Hurricane Rita using data from the GOES and Aqua satellites, which provide information on clouds and infrared energy from the ocean's surface. We'll be creating a time series of images of the Gulf of Mexico in order to investigate sea surface temperature changes in the wake of a hurricane. Hurricanes cause a large transfer of heat between the ocean surface and the atmosphere. They also cause upwelling, which is ocean circulation that brings cold, deep water to the surface. We see these effects in a dramatic decrease in sea surface, a trend that can last for a week or longer after the storm.